guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working on a brand new Tesla. It's a, uh, show the uh, deal for you. It's a 100D. The plan on this one is to uh, do a basic interior and then I'm going to wash with stripper soap uh, to remove any and everything that's on there currently. And then after that, I'm going to clay bar with my Japanese ultra fine clay bar uh, with some ghost as lube. And that's the uh, basically the rinseless wash product that leaves nothing behind. So after everything's clayed, the plan is to give it a one step polish. It's not horrible. Uh, definitely got some swirls in it, but it's black and uh, the owner drives it a lot. And this is actually the fourth one that he's had that he's brought to me. He doesn't keep them long and he's not necessarily a swirl Nazi per se. We're gonna get rid of uh, a lot of the, the worst ones and then enhance the gloss a bit before I apply the brand new Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid Coating from DetailJuice.com. So once I apply that to the exterior. Um, I'm gonna let it cure for an hour like I always tell you guys to do. And then uh, I will go ahead and wipe the whole car down with the uh, Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid Boost spray coating. This is not a necessary step, but uh, I find that any and all just minor smudges and fingerprints or whatever uh, it's always good to just do a final wipe with something. Um, it has the same technology as the actual regular coating, so uh, you're just putting more goodness on the surface. But anyway, you can see, see how dirty it is. So I'm not going to bore you guys with uh, the wash process. You know how to wash a car. So I've got some water in a bucket. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use, grab some uh, stripper soap and then go to town. So you'll see more of this Tesla very shortly. Okay guys, been working on this about two days now. I started yesterday, just finished it up. <clears throat> it's a uh, brand new Tesla Model S. I washed it with stripper soap for my force field protection system lineup that strips any and everything off as far as protection that was on there. And then it also leaves behind a basically a, uh, a priming catalyst for the second part, which is uh, the bonding of the actual coating. So stripper soap, cleaned everything up. Paint looks awesome. Stripper soap cleaned everything up, and then uh, I clayed with Ghost as the lube. So Ghost is my uh, step one in the uh, force field protection system lineup. Step two would be uh, stripper juice, but instead of stripper juice, I started with stripper soap, which does what stripper juice and Ghost do together. So I saved some time there with stripper soap, and then I uh, clayed with Ghost as a lube, and my Japanese ultra fine clay bar. And then after that, I went straight into making sure everything was dry, all the cracks and crevices were dry, and then I pulled it in the shop. And I polished with uh, my infinite finish. It didn't need a lot. I'm just trying to enhance the gloss, remove some very light swirls, and if you couldn't tell, it's not real swirled up right now. Got a few deeper scratches, but it really looks fantastic. Um, so polished with infinite finish, got all the polishing residue off, and then right after the infinite finish, which Infinite Finish actually has the priming catalyst in it as well as the uh, stripper soap 
stripper spray and the stripper rinseless. So I went straight into the Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid coating right after Infinite Finish. And this is where we're at after a, um, a night of curing. And then this morning, before I pulled it out of the shop, I just wiped everything down with the Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid Boost spray coating. I didn't have to do that. I just decided to go ahead and give it just that extra pop. I mean, the, the gloss is amazing. So that's where we're at with that. It looks awesome. It's protected for years. And uh, I'm sure my client will be very happy with this. I also coated the wheel faces, uh, all the chrome trim, door handles, and all the glass with the Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid coating. Still got some residual water. Just get that wiped real quick. Good to go. Anyway, so it's a, a, uh, it's a 2018 Tesla Model S 100D. Uh, on the interior, I didn't do a lot. What I did do though, is vacuum the interior out, cleaned up everything, and then uh, got all the fingerprints off the, the uh, display there, and then the actual display in the center. Uh, and then I sprayed my interior force field from my force field, force field protection system lineup. Uh, interior force field went all over all the leather and the door panels. So, the interior is all protected and if you'll notice that interior force field leave it retains the the factory look uh, but it protects really 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 well from uva and uvb rays but beyond that um it it protects the leather by leaving it uh it, it helps to retain the elasticity uh which makes it last longer and not crack so that's what I've been working on. I use tough tire gel on the tires. Notice it doesn't leave uh, what I consider the, the gangster shine. Can't even talk today, it's so hot. The gangster shine is not what we have here. We actually have a very nice looking tire. I would consider it very professional looking. Of course, that's what a Tesla Model S is. It's a professional type car. Go big or go home, I guess. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Gary Dean from DetailJuice.com. Uh, if you guys have questions for me, just uh, send me a text message, 813-846-4406, uh, or find me on Facebook. Uh, but this is the Tesla, and I'm very proud of the work. Looks amazing. And I know my client is going to absolutely love it. So check out detailjuice.com if you've got any uh, product questions. Uh, if, if I can answer them directly, if that's what you prefer, just uh, send me a message. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.